Some of their medications come through the water. Exactly, yes. Dave Kronlagi of Dyersville, Iowa, told us he feeds antibiotics to his hogs before they get sick to accelerate growth and fend off diseases that can spread when livestock are raised in crowded conditions. You give it to them because you want them to be healthy. We must really rely on the science behind the issue. But this week on Capitol Hill, critics worried giving antibiotics to livestock, unless medically necessary, may be creating dangerous, drug-resistant bacteria that can be passed on to humans. We would be shocked if a pediatrician ever ordered antibiotics for an entire nursery school class to keep the children from being infected. The FDA, CDC, and the Department of Agriculture are now urging farmers to stop feeding antibiotics to healthy animals, but the industry is fighting back. Our position is, is that these products have been approved as safe and effective by the FDA. I am Stuart Levy. This scientist first documented the problem more than 30 years ago after feeding 150 healthy chickens low levels of tetracycline for months. By one week, almost all E. coli bacteria in the intestinal tracts of chickens were tetracycline resistant. And by three months, Levy testified, the chickens were resistant to other classes of antibiotics as well. So were farm workers and members of the community. There you go. And this farmer told us he nearly died from a drug-resistant strain of strep after being gored by an angry boar fed a daily diet of penicillin. That bug got stronger and tougher all the time. The industry insists they're using antibiotics appropriately. But in our four-month investigation, drug distributors and dozens of farm workers in four Farm Belt states told us antibiotic use to promote growth remains widespread on farms. And in this recent government survey, over 70 percent of farm workers admitted they used antibiotics for this purpose, most without consulting a veterinarian. Tick off the antibiotics that, are, that we see routinely used. Penicillin, tetracycline, uh, some of the fluoroquinolones may not be as well known, but let me tell you, those are the bottom line lifesavers for some of the most challenging diseases we face out there. The FDA recently put out draft guidelines urging farmers to stop these practices. And if they don't, well, a bill pending in Congress could force the issue by banning the use of growth promoting antibiotics in healthy livestock, particularly those that are critically important to humans. If you'd like more information, you can go to our partner in health news, webmd.com, and search antibiotics. We'll be right back.